Hi David, um, yeah I'm just um, putting this uh, sort of video together for you just to kind of help you out. So the first thing I've done is I've done a measurement guide here of eight cannons. So um, I'm not sure your model, maybe you, mod you wanted your model at 7.5, but in either case I've done this at eight cannons and you can see that we are well off. So your head in relate or your body in relationship to the head is too small. Um, and some of the key points are off. So um, for instance, um, you've got the groin is too high here, it needs to come down a bit. And obviously the knees, uh, this should be, this is in the wrong places where it should be lower here. So you need to stretch on the leg, stretch on the feet. If I just show you um, an actual cannon guide that I've done for another course that I'm doing actually on anatomy, and that's why I'm doing this for you because um, it will help you. Um, let me just show you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Here we go. So um, this is an eight cannon. So if you look here, you've got the pelvis on about the fourth block down. So you can see there the, sorry, the groin area just on there. You can also see that the knee area is on about the sixth block down. So if we compare that across to, to your model here, you can see it is actually off. Now, realizing that you wouldn't really, maybe not go to a seven cannon with that head, it would just it just looks a bit off. And maybe this is what's causing lots of the problems. You might go to 7.5, um, but anything uh, more than that is you're gonna get a kind of squash body instead of the proper, proper proportions. And even so, your proportions would be out. So um, if we look at this, for instance, the groin area, like I said, should be down on the fourth, one, two, three, four. So that should be down here. Your knees also should be on the sixth, so they should be down here. The bottom of the kneecap should be on there, which would then probably, this is about the right length to take it from there um, down to here. So I think overall there is a proportion issue uh, with this, definitely. Also, we should definitely make a note of where the elbows are. If you look at the elbows, they are just above the navel here on about the third block down. So one, two, three. So it's your elbows aren't bad, but maybe could do with being a little bit longer. Um, also, maybe the forearm from this angle, it's really quite hard to see but maybe the forearms are a little bit too long on there or they're not in proportion with, I think it's they're not in proportion with the upper arm, need to be brought down. So notice where the actual wrists lie, which is about the groin area there. So if you brought those wrists down, is it gonna reach there? Now realizing you've got it in a semi pose, um, that's gonna make an issue as well. Now also something we should definitely take note of is the actual leg area in here. So I've moved away now from the Canon guide, which you can see there. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm just going to do a little paint over where I think areas are kind of looking wrong. And one of those areas for sure is this kind of area here. There's not much delineation between the pectorials um, going into the deltoid at the top. Now realizing this is a muscular figure, um, that's probably it, but there's not enough delineation also on the biceps or in the muscles in general, apart from on the abs where you've just whacked in a great big blotch of, um, of look, almost look like pads. They need to be tailed back. So areas that I see of concern, um, definitely, let me just paint them on there and then we'll look at them in a bit more detail in a second. So let me just do this and come down. So areas of concern are this kind of area here. These actual, um, which is part of the kind of deltoid there, this area here just looks wrong. Um, these, it just doesn't look natural, you know, and they run down, run down here further. Um, also your obliques at the side, they're not pronounced enough on a muscular figure like this. And I think, um, although it's hard to see, um, your traps there are probably maybe too far forwards. I can't see from this model. Um, so there's not enough indent in this area here, um, which is pushing it off. Now also delineation here and where the iliac crest runs over onto the hips is also of concern. This is just too delineated around this area. This is what I feel anyway. And also the shape of the um, muscles on the top are kind of, um, well, this needs to be just clearer. It's just not clear enough. 
and where you've got the brachialis and the triceps at the back um, it's kind of it's like you've done it as one mass you you've obviously done some indents but there's not any clear delineation with the brachialis running off onto the biceps there onto the triceps there which break into three muscles so someone like as muscular as this you're going to see that really clearly um, so that's of concern i'm not worrying about the head i'm going to leave you with the head but also here it looks these are just too far it, it's like the shoulders need to go back quite a bit okay they need to go back a bit and this area here needs to be flattened off more because it's poking out wouldn't really poke out this on the trapezium at the back um, it's running too far on the neck it's almost where the mastoid would run down and it needs to go back further here there needs to be a more of a delineation in this area so there needs to be more of um, you know if you've got a shadow shining at it it should be a shadow in that area it shouldn't be so far forwards this way yeah so obviously that um, trapezium runs onto the back of the neck as well um, getting on to the leg areas you haven't delineated the muscle at the back of the leg there's kind of a shadow that runs down there um, this is okay but again you need to look at look at models to do it um, also the knees you've just done this as kind of just a blob which is fine you know I'm, I'm it is kind of just a blob you've done there where actually you know you've got the uh, patella you know you've got the femur running in there then you've got the um, tibula running down the side to form that shape you know to form that there's more going on in there than just a flat mass like that with just that okay um, also that brings us on to the legs where you've actually got a little bit of a turning on here now obviously you've bent the feet out um, and you've kind of bent the knees out as well so you've done the right thing there that's right I like your, your feet I like your hands um, they're okay you know again you know you need to work it up bring us on to the forearm here where the forearm you do have some muscles going on in here um, you've kind of done the wrong thing but this area is of concern here um, you can see it kind of juts out it doesn't jut out it's much straighter than that you know you've got just just refining points on this is what I'm looking for the elbows you've got the same problem that you've got with the kneecap down there so you need to correct those um, and obviously like I said with this pec tutorials they run underneath the deltoid and they run underneath there's no shadow or delineation between the arm hitting the body for where the armpit would be um yeah your mastoids running down the front there uh, maybe uh, watch this area the sternum um that's just too sharp in there it needs to run out you need to look at these angles as they're running up since it's not sharp like you've done it there stuff runs up and there's curves or there's lesser curves before they run down to other pieces you need to watch those angles those planes this is a really really common common thing that happens um, for sure so that is kind of there you've put some stuff in there but I'm not sure that exists now the back area um, again the back area this is just too sharp there's no shape to the to the scapula there's no kind of shape to it it runs again this area here it run if I'm looking at it from the top downwards it runs like that really sharp well it doesn't do that there is a sharpness to it but not much and all the muscles from the back are missing all these all these muscles from the back are missing for sure the sacrum that's quite a good area you've done that quite well and coming up here quite like this um, just watch how deep this is you've kept it constant all the way through it's not constant I can see that you've actually put the spine in there um, which is good you've put that little piece in here but this area here when the neck comes down it's just looks off um, it just all looks a kind of a bit this line that you've got here just looks all a bit um, soft just a bit too soft so definitely pay attention to that going on the back of the legs now that's quite good it's quite good you've got the Achilles tendon running up there and that's running nicely maybe um, not sure I can see that's part of the kneecap but again muscular figures 
you know they are these parts are made up of different muscles that come down here so be careful of that so if I now go to a couple of pictures to sort of back up what I'm talking about um, it will be clear for you so I'm going to grab in this one here Arnold Swartzy and he's a good one so I can see you've gone for that Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of thing here but look look at this delineation here look at this muscle here and the way yours comes across look at this especially on this trapezium where it comes down there's a definitely an angle change you can see the shadow in there at the back it's more the back than the front whereas yours is pushing towards the front and like I said it almost going on to the uh, mastoid there so you can see that delineation of the deltoid coming around with this huge muscle and he's got here uh, again look at your pecs they're really square look at his they kind of come down because he's very muscular so this is obviously the look you're going for um, look at these bits in here the way it angles out so he's got huge back there and yours uh, but it's delineated it is at the back whereas yours looks like it's kind of midway through the model rather than at the back it looks like the back from there but you kind of haven't got that dip that's just um that's basically just a sculpting um technique thing that you need to concentrate on look at these muscles as well down the legs so you might want to put them in so definitely looking at references are key here um if we look at some of the back muscles i'm trying to find a good back muscle to sort of show you uh here's a good one so put this in here you can see these back muscles coming down see these splits in the deltoid coming out coming across to the scapula you know you can see this piece here this trapezium this whole trapezium area that's coming down here comes right down right down um, this is a good picture to show it really clear obviously he has his arms folds so all those muscles are getting pushed up at the back you've got a pretty neutral a pose so you're not going to see all those muscles muscles pushing back but you can definitely see the deltoids how they're splitting um, and you can see this area so it gives you an idea so more of a neutral back pose um, if I can find one that's still on this one's still on the print oh, here we go so it is under stress but you can see it's much more you know you've got flow it, the spine there it pushes in pushes in here and then it kind of all flattens out here on the lumbar area around here sacrum's a little bit more um, showing here you can see it very clearly here down the bottom as it runs onto the back there um, so these are just guidelines to sort of get you looking at your reference as you're working it's really key I'm just trying to find a good leg one for you I mean that's a good one for the back you can see that's huge muscles um, but really shows you where those muscles are obviously if you put them in like that you can knock them all back but it does give you a clear picture all right so I'll supply this little sheet to you um, here's another guy Gives you a bit of an idea of the obliques and where the traps are there and those arm areas I was talking about. So these are pretty good to look at. Um, I'm just going to jump in and give you the um, knee picture.
So there we have the knee. So you can see, you can definitely see this line. See this curve running down the leg. It's running down. So you need to pay attention to that knee area where you've got the patella on the front, but you've also got these other bones areas sticking out. And this definition around here is not just a round or an oval kind of blob as you've got it there. Um, but you know, David, these, these are all points. These are things that happens to everybody when they're trying to do this stuff. It's not an easy thing. You know, don't think this is an easy thing actually doing a character. It's not, it's really hard. So you need to um, not be too hard on yourself with these sort of things, you know. Uh, let me have a look at this one. Let me just open this one up and you can see here. So you can see this really quite clearly here on this one, the shape of it, you know. Um, if anything, it's more triangular than kind of oval, yeah? So really what I'm saying to you is just have a look, you know, just look around at lots of reference when you're looking. Pay attention to this. Obviously, definitely pay attention to the Canon guide in there and the way that it's off. Um, I'll supply you this file so you've got it and then that should help you. Okay, so I'm gonna post this and I'll send you a link to it very, very soon.